Hi, Mama. Uh, this video is hard to make um, because I don't think I should only have two minutes to talk to you and tell you how amazing you are. Um, I believe that I will never have your strength and organizational skills um, because I'm also part dad um, <laughs> and dad um, you know, uh, he and I both, um, you know, tend to get stressed out and freak out, but not you, you hold it together and you hold it together, not just for yourself, but for everyone else. I want to thank you so much because I know most of what you've done isn't just for yourself. It's for posterity, for my kids, for me, for my sister. And, um, we have always talked about like how strong you are and how much of a girl boss you are um which is a gen z term for um woman who has just um exceeded uh you know all limitations that can be put on us for um like you being a mother and you being um a wife and a community uh, member and uh, being so good at all of these things. I don't know how you do it. Um, and I've loved watching you have to uh, kind of re-strategize and work with the company's growth. Um, it's been amazing, like watching you um, find ways through everything um, through constant change and pressure and um, anything. So I know that um, dad couldn't have done everything he did without you and he thanks you so much and we thank you so much um, because everything that he isn't you make up for and vice versa. Um, I see you as one of the all-time greatest leaders and you are um, just such a gem. I know you are and I just hope that you have all good things to take with you and um, that includes like the hard times that you came out of with um, such added strength and um, and uh, I hope to see you grow and continuously um, find things that make you happy now in your free time and hopefully we have a lot of fun adventures coming up and that we can be together a lot more so I love you and thank you so much for everything and I will talk to you soon Hi, Mama. I can't believe I'm saying it, but happy retirement. Nobody deserves this as much as you do. So we thought a lot about what to get a woman who has spent decades of their life committed to such an amazing cause, who girl bossed the industry and was such a sensational and respected businesswoman, someone who made such a huge impact in the health industry and on countless number of lives, both through the product and in personal connections. Someone who not only had a 10 pound baby in 2003, sorry about that one by the way, but also received a Businesswoman of the Year award that same year. It turns out, oddly enough, I can't get all that engraved onto a watch. But I realized that the reason you were such an amazing mom was not only because you loved and supported me unconditionally my whole life, but because you were such a strong leader. I am the person I am today because I watched you be the person that you are. I was always so fascinated with how you earned so much respect, not by being mean like a lot of other bosses may be, but by being kind. And with that respect came admiration. Day after day, you have sacrificed yourself for others and shown what it means to be selfless, and day after day, you continue to amaze me. And I may not know exactly what job I'm gonna end up in, but I really hope that whatever that may be, that I can exhibit the same leadership skills I learned from growing up watching you. So thank you, not only for being my mom and raising such an amazing, beautiful family, but for being such a role model 
And I think I can speak for everybody when I say that you and dad have undoubtedly changed the world. AlphaSim is forever going to be a revolutionary technology in the medical field, and it could not have been led by a better woman. But instead of listening to me ramble about how amazing my mother is, you should hear it from everybody else too. So congrats again, mom. I love you. Hi, this is Skip Hassman. I'm the Central Regional Manager for EPI. Hi, my name is Krissa Brewer, and I have worked for Tracy and EPI for 21 years. Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Earthman. I'm a psychiatrist in Austin, Texas, and the medical director at EPII. Hi, my name is Tanya Trammell. I'm the Vice President of Government Services and Operations at EPI. My name is Raymond Chang. I'm VP Engineering of EPI. Hi, Tracy, this is Sherry. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Hi, I'm Chris Rowland. Tracy Kirsch, this is Patrick Boyle from North Carolina. Hi, Tracy. It's Reese and Brooke. Hi, I am Angie Zamora, the QA coordinator here at EPI. Hi, my name is Travis. I work here at Electro Medical Products. Hi, Tracy. It's Brian. Hi, Tracy. It's Liz, your customer service manager. Greetings, Greetings from Durham. Durham. Hey, Tracy. Kieran Perry coming to you from the Missouri HQ for Alpha STEM. I just wanted to say a special couple of words about Tracy. Um, although our time has been short together, she's been very kind, compassionate, very sensitive in our conversations, and very present. And someone who I always felt was so approachable, so easy to talk to. You are truly one of a kind. You are unbelievable in my life, in every conceivable way. You are the cat's pajamas, the cat's meow, the dog's pajamas. You are one of the few people on this planet that I trust implicitly. There is nobody quite like you out there. You know, your perseverance um, and your energy um, in making sure that the uh, that Alphaston uh, continued and succeeded in the way that it has um, is admirable. It truly has been a blessing. Um, and I, uh, the eight years has been a wonderful journey. And I do look forward to many, many more years uh, working with EPI and, and, and continuing on the mission. I have worked with Tracy for 20 years now, and I just have to say that I appreciate her as a boss and more so as a mentor to me and also as a friend. I've worked for a lot of people in 40 plus years, and you are the only one I have met that truly wants to learn who her people are as people, not just employees and show us constantly how much you appreciate every little and big thing we do. I can truthfully and honestly say that the company would not be where it is today without your leadership, thoughtfulness, hard work, uh, grit, and, and TLC. You and your husband have been outstanding and leaving a tremendous legacy for us to walk in. Uh, it's much easier now for us with this wonderful disruptive technology that we can go to the market both government and now civilian, and we can really stand before our customers with a sense of pride, knowing that we absolutely represent the best in electrostimulation technology. And I'll never forget, you've always called this place your family. It's never been the company necessarily, it's never been the business, it's been the family, and it's always been the mission. You've always had my back and are a big reason why I have stayed with EPI for as long as I have. You have been so supportive through everything over the past four years, and I'm so grateful and I'm so very thankful to be an employee here at EPI and to have the privilege of meeting you. The only boss I've had that personally walked around and handed out paychecks and personally visited with each person and thanked each one of us. You are more than a boss. You've been a great friend. I've gone to Tracy and her team for last year, and I'd say the company's in really good hands. All my communications with you over the years have been been great memories, and um, I've been so excited to be part of the Alpha STEM team. As you know, I've been involved with a lot of different devices throughout my career, and I've never run across anything that was so life-changing for people. And I'm, again, I'm very excited to have been part of your team. I've known Tracy and worked with her for 30 years. Most of the time, 
she was the president of EPI, helping Dr. Kirsch manage the company. It was never easy. It was an uphill battle with FDA to get the revolutionary alpha steam cleared by the FDA. But she was not daunted. When the going was tough, she would keep us going by saying that if it was easy, many people would have done it. The standard that you set um, for Alpha Stand with the EPI team um, of professionalism and integrity um, is just amazing. Um, it's rare that I see that standard achieved um, in other CEOs and companies that I get to work with. Um, and just, I just think that's admirable. And I, I do think that's part of the legacy that you're leaving with EPI and Alpha STEM. And just know that I cherish our friendship and I truly cherish you as a person. I love you. Most importantly, thank you for just being the person you are. Thank you to Tracy for all she's done for all of us here. Thank you profusely for what you have brought to my life. There's a big banquet table there and yeah, your place setting uh, is a big one. Thank you for being a great boss and friend to me all these years. Thank you, Tracy, for taking a chance on me and my family and giving me the opportunity to grow and just learn within the company as well as with myself. And thank you for your hard work at EPI with Alpha Stem. Thank you for your life's work. And I want to thank you for everything you did both personally and to help grow the company. Thank you for everything, for putting me in a home, I feel like, and making me be somewhere where I belong. Uh, thank you and Dan for the opportunity. We really appreciate it and uh, enjoy. Thank you for your leadership, the opportunity to work with EPI and become part of their mission that has helped so many, countless others, make a difference in their lives. Thank you for uh, your leadership and for creating and preserving uh, something that has truly changed the world. Thank you for giving the girl who interviewed in pantyhose and a skirt a chance. Um, and just thank you for being you. You were a wonderful leader, a great mentor, and I'm, I'm very proud to say that I work at EPI. Thank you for all the professional opportunities you've provided me through the years um, in working with Alpha STEM, all the conferences, um, the webinars, even getting to testify in front of the FDA. Um, it's been very fulfilling, so thank you. So thank you for all that you've done, Tracy. You've really been a gem. Uh, thank you for launching me off um, in a short period of time in my career. Uh, there's, a, there's a famous quote I like that goes, we shall dream no small dreams, for they stir not the hearts of men. And as a leader, one of the things, one of the most powerful things you were able to do was to unleash uh, the ability to dream big in those that you led. And for that, you should be proud, and I can say thanks. So, what am I going to do without you at EPI? I hope it's in excellent and capable hands that nobody can ever rise to the occasion like you and Dan. I'll still be looking forward to being able to see you at special company events. And on plus side, I'm hoping you get to stay up late and actually sleep in later. Not be up at 5 a.m. working out and then coming up here. <laughs> Most of all, I'm hoping nobody's going to be cranking the air up on you 76 degrees like they did a lot of times in the kitchen. And that would impact your office. Please know what an honor it's been to represent Alpha STEM all these years and work side by side with the great people that are that are here at this company. So anyway, thank you again. Happy retirement. Congratulations to you. We will carry the torch from here and I hope to hear all of the great things that you're doing in the in the years to come. Um, Alpha STEM not only changes the lives of those who use the device, but it also changes the lives of everyone around that person. Um, and makes their lives better. So you really have changed the world. The ultimate test on Tracy came when Dr. Kirsch fell sick for a long period of time. Tracy lost a veteran partner in the office. She had a sick husband and two adolescent daughters at home.
to take care of. It was mission impossible. But Tracy pulled through. It took immense passion and determination. My hat's off to her. By the way, all the things that you have done for my patients, my veterans, my police officers, my other first responders, nobody, nobody has stepped up to the plate like you and Dan. And Will and others. But you, you're at you're at the helm on that one. I'm so happy for you. And I know that there's a lot of new opportunities for you and you'll do so well at them. You've done a fantastic job at the office and um, I'm so glad that you and Dan had come in to get water so many years ago. I would never probably met you. So I really am um, so glad to be part of your team. You've taught me so many things and I'm very, very grateful. I just love you dearly and um, I wish you the best. Wishing you continued success in all of your future endeavors. I hope you're now able to find some time to reflect upon uh, the past 30 plus years and be happy with what you've accomplished and to give yourself the credit you deserve. It's hard to tell you how much you will be missed. You will be sorely missed by many who have turned to EPI for the incredible technology that you have offered. I know that you're greatly, greatly, greatly missed. And uh, I miss seeing your face around here and I miss our talks. <laughs> we miss you! Bye. <laughs> you deserve all of the congratulations on an incredible professional life well lived. We just want to say congratulations um, on a, a, a great run as CEO of EPI um, and stay in touch. Take care. I just wanted to say a great thank you and a, uh, a really a kind farewell for you and your husband. I hope that you guys enjoy uh, the rest of your time. Major kudos. Um, I'm so glad that you're able to turn that next page uh, in the chapter of retirement. I'm sure that you, Dan, and the rest of your family are, are going to be enjoying a lot more R&R, &R, hopefully on some sunny beaches uh, sometime soon. Certainly best wishes to you and your family. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy. I hope you're enjoying your semi-retirement. I know that you're too busy to be truly retired, but I want to take a moment to congratulate you for all the successes in making EPI the business it is today. So congratulations. Enjoy what is to come next. Um, and enjoy that retirement. We hope that you have an enjoyable, relaxing retirement filled with all of your favorite things and not having to go to work on Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations again. A heartfelt congratulations on your retirement. Really happy for you that you get to start the next chapter and hopefully scratch some things off of your bucket list. I just wanted to uh, congratulate you on your retirement. Congratulations, Tracy, on your retirement. Congratulations on your retirement. And I hope your retirement is a uh meaningful and fulfilling. Congratulations on a successful career laying the foundation of electrical medicine. Enjoy your retirement. Looking forward to working with you as a consultant. Go enjoy um, your life. What you created is a wonderful thing and I hope you and Dan just visit every place you possibly can and enjoy every second of it. Enjoy every moment of your retirement and know that you were thought of very often and missed every day. Enjoy retirement. I wish you every good wish for wonderful years of freedom ahead. You're just too young to retire. So again, this is just your halftime. Bucket list has to be uh, undone and finished. Put Dayton in that bucket. Lots of love. Good luck on retirement. And if you ever get to San Antonio, look me up. Thanks. Congratulations on your retirement. And I hope you enjoy it. And I wish you and your husband all the best. Take care. Be well and enjoy the next phase of your life. And, and hopefully you're able to maximize your time with your toes in the sand, the sun in your face, and a cool drink in your hand. It definitely feels like the end of an era and EPI will never be the same without you for sure. Um, but with that said, I hope you have a blast in the next chapter of your life and I hope you enjoy every minute of it. Because you've earned it. You've truly earned it. You've put the blood, sweat, and tears into 
the uh, the mission, as you called it, the enterprise. I pray that I'm able to keep your vision going forward now that you're retiring and that I can also help keep the culture that you've created here. Um, I wish you the best. Take care. Bye. What a long, strange trip it's been. 30 years. You have been captaining the EPI ship for 30 years. That's a long time. And you did it all with style and grace. You helped so many people, millions of people. And also, you enriched our employees' lives. Jamie, of all people, actually said it best. He said, these people work for you. And you said, yes, I am the CEO. Of course they work for me. And he said, no, I mean they would die for you. That was the level of devotion because they saw your devotion. You were always ethical, always dedicated to the cause, always to put, putting yourself out first to fight the good fight against the so-called regulators who didn't know anything about what we did but wanted to regulate us in doing it, both here and around the world. But, all in all, we survived. We prospered and we helped so many people and so many of them appreciate us and more so you for keeping this thing going. I think that our only mistake was really to sell it to those people, but we can't put that genie back in the bottle. So it's time to move on and enjoy our golden years together. You've earned it. So I want to thank you. I want to tell you, you're the greatest life partner I could ever have imagined. I really love you. And I also respect you very much for all you have done. And I look forward to the next phase of our lives.